you're on the NNR network. We're going to take a break from our regular programming to talk about the Kentucky situation. So, a huge area of the forest and farmland has been cut off. Roads blocked, the border patrolled. Barriers intended for military use overseas used on armed soil. A massive logistical operation and for what end? The sectioning of an unknown localized contagion. What is this outbreak? Should America be afraid? We'll be asking the questions you want answered. Today, all day, on NNR. And on our network, what matters to you matters to America. You're on the NNR network. The president today met with officials from the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, on the ongoing Kentucky outbreak situation. We're expecting an official statement tomorrow, but the White House representatives have underlined that the large-scale military maneuvers in and around the towns of Mount and West Point are part of a long-held and long-term strategy that is in place to deal with security events and localized contamination. The message seems clear. They know what they're doing. But shouldn't America know what they're doing too? So far, no more from the inside of the exclusion zone. And journalists known to have successfully crossed the border have not yet re-emerged. Although there is reason to believe that they are in the care of the military. What is this outbreak? Should America be afraid? We'll be asking the questions you want answered. Today, all day, on NNR. NNR Network. What matters to you matters to America. You're on the NNR Network. The end of another troubled day in Kentucky. Here's everything the NNR news sources have exclusively uncovered over the last 48 hours. The Knox event outbreak is localized. It is an influence-like disease that renders the inflicted unconscious. After a period of illness, sufferers regain motor functions. They are, however, dazed and confused, panicked and nauseous. It's in this state, we are told, that military scientists are finding them. The infection is widespread in the zone, and how it spreads is unknown. We have seen soldiers in hazmat suits, however. The US Army is taking absolutely no chances. We are promised a press conference to update the nation tomorrow. It is there that we will be asking the questions you want answered. Today, all day, on NNR. NNR Network. What matters to you matters to America. You're on the NNR network. The Knox evacuation. There will be answers. This morning, the president meets with the CDC for a second time. This afternoon, a press conference to allay fear and explain the exclusion zone. All the while, fear and anger sweep the nation. Demonstrations in Washington. See the workers in hygiene masks on the Newark subway. Eyewitnesses report suggest extreme flu-like symptoms followed by confusion. The use of violence between sufferers has been reported. People displaced from the zone's outer perimeter three days ago demand answers. Now joined in camps by concerned relatives and those still inside. In front of them, a strengthened military blockade. South of Louisville, below the Hawaii River. The area remains ring-fenced by troops from local military bases. Equipment due to be deployed overseas were out to fight the infection. The question remains, why can't we speak to them? And on our network, what matters to you matters to America. This is NNR. General John McCrew has confirmed panic within the exclusion zone. However, he underlined there was no evidence of fatalities. Here is the full statement recorded just moments ago. I am making this statement at 11 a.m. on the 14th of July, 1993. There are many rumors circulating, many falsehoods. This is an appeal for calm. I can confirm there has been an outbreak. The ailment is as yet unidentified. It is flu-like, it leads to panic, 
it leads to confusion. There is no evidence of fatalities within the exclusion zone. We are using judged and judicious force to maintain the border. Warning shots have been fired, but no civilians have been harmed. We must ensure that this infection is not allowed to spread. I am in hourly contact with the President on this matter. The no-fly zone will remain in place for the foreseeable future, and at this time we will take no questions. MMR Network. What matters to you matters to America. You're on the NNR Network. The President has claimed he is distressed by the Knox event. This is a distressing time. The situation in Kentucky is unexpected and saddening. My first thoughts are with the friends and families of those within the zone. People have been separated. Folks have been evacuated. I understand the difficulties facing us. However, I have faith in the fine people of the Center for Disease Control to get to the root of the panic and confusion within the exclusion zone. I have faith in our servicemen and women to fulfill their duties, and for General John McGrew to command them with the foresight and dedication he has shown throughout his exemplary career. It is a distressing time, America, but you are in safe hands. Thank you.